Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. I'm using the Wandering Star Tarot for our reading today. I'll choose three cards, read the base of the pack, and I'll also choose one from the Archangels as well for some extra guidance. So I'm setting the intention for a reading for the highest and greatest good for the collective or anyone who views this video. There we have the Six of Pentacles. Again, that beautiful card of balance. The Page of Swords. And the Three of Swords. Okay, so this is really speaking into the new moon, which for the past few days, the, this is the energy that's been coming through the reading. So the Six of Pentacles is, this is all about receiving and, and, and giving with an open heart, receiving with gratitude and giving with an open heart, bringing in that beautiful balance as we inhale, we exhale, everything is in balance, the same as giving and receiving. There she is dressed in rainbow colours with the stars around her and the moon. So lots of energy from the star constellations and this new moon in Cancer, which is the mother, the divine feminine, governs our reproductive organs, our breasts. So very nurturing energy, feeling that energy, allowing the cosmos to hold us in the womb why we are moving through this portal from the 777 up to the lion's gate on the 8th of august and it's all it's it, it's they're giving me the vision of moving through a a, a cave so we've entered this cave and we're moving through which is the portal and the entrance to the cave is getting smaller and smaller and there may be some instinct within us to run back into the to, into the entrance where we've come from but we've been held in this cosmic embrace of moving forward through this portal letting go of the entrance that where we came and started to move through this cave moving forward knowing that we will all come out exactly where we are meant to be the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow this is also like confirmation that our loved ones in spirit are around us as we are making this transition from the old of contraction to the new of expansion so we're just going through this this time through this portal to let go of the past move forward and keep and holding on to what brings peace within then we have the Page of Swords, and the Page of Swords is a young energy. This card has come out over the past few days also, so this is a new energy. Not taking what other people say to heart. Some Someone may be speaking from a place of no tact. It, they're projecting some anger towards us but this is uh, don't retaliate everyone is feeling this shift on some level the cancer moon will, it's conjunct with neptune pisces opposing pluto so lots of water energy old emotions coming to the surface on uh, whether it is the male or female, the divine masculine is, is going through some shifts as well. It's not just the, the divine feminine. 
and this is to hold space, be aware of our old triggers, stepping back instead of responding and then the three of swords again this energy bringing bringing emotions to the surface that are not necessarily of this lifetime the the feelings of of betrayal the feelings of sorrow uh, and you can see that she has tears coming down her face. The thoughts are really hurting, peace in her heart. So we're going to a deeper level of healing. But, but the cosmos is holding us. The Divine Mother is holding us and nurturing us as we go through these releases. And a card flew out and this is the Empress. There's a lot of Venetian energy. So the Empress is connected to, to Venus. So as we are going through these shifts, and, and the Empress is the Lakshmi of the, of the Tarot. It is the Divine Mother. Bringing grace, bringing divine abundance, asking us to put our feet on the ground, to allow the energies to flow through us without creating a story so emotions may be coming to the surface allow them to come to the surface it could be tears of joy it could be tears of relief of we are finally receiving the insights from the sorrow that we have have moved through in this lifetime and past lives so the Empress, the Divine Mother, is old in us. This Cancer New Moon is old in us. And we're, the opposing sign to Cancer is, is Capricorn. It's the opposite sign. Capricorn is the outside, the male. Cancer is the inner world and the feminine. So matching up now. Our, our matching the inside world up with the outside world. So creating it from within. So then we then start to manifest on the outside. So, so deep mirror work going on and lots of, lots of reflections bringing up, up things within us. But the Empress is here. This Venetian energy is holding us and we are receiving this activation of Venetian energy. Venus starts a retrograde tomorrow on this new moon. So we have the new moon, a new week. The north node and the south node, the, moon, the moon's nodes shift tomorrow. And Monday is moon day so lots of activations going on tomorrow to do with our innermost feelings but knowing that we are being held in divine love as we go through this process so i'm asking now for the archangel to please step forward for the highest and greatest good the collective with a message for us with some guidance that is going to assist us during this time. Asking now for a message. Chakra clearing Archangel Metatron, the Archangel of Ascension, who is assisting us during this time as we're releasing the old, we're releasing blocks from each of our chakras, from our root all the way up to our crown. We're re receiving these activations that, that as we cleanse the chakras, our chakras transcend up into the higher dimensions 
and, and start to then draw in heavenly experiences. Archangel Metatron walked the earth with his twin brother, Archangel Sandalphon. Archangel Metatron is a huge archangel connecting to heaven and, and being that bridge of heaven and earth. Archangel Sandalphon anchoring the energy into our earth star chakra into the heart of mother earth listening to our prayers and 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 taking our prayers to heaven so as we are releasing and focusing on what our soul purpose is what brings us joy not just for ourselves but for everyone letting go of anything that is holding us back now any old thought forms anything that especially coming into this new moon we have the help where of uh, our mental health we have help there we start to shift our, our the way we think into a more positive way but then the emotions that are old and deep cellular memory start to come to the surface and as we start to move through this during this new moon in cancer as we start to to move though through those old emotional memories that uh, that keep us that keep us stuck and from childhood we have never been shown or taught how to work through our emotions we are doing that now to our children and our grandchildren but from from a, a, you know our through my life i was never taught in school how to love yourself how to listen to what's going on within and how to process those emotions and there cancer this divine mother is asking us to really listen to those emotions and to and is helping to bring the insights because through this new moon maybe jumble of feelings may be coming to the surface and from childhood not being able to express our emotions or if we have in an emotional time we were told to be quiet to start what we was doing to suppress how we was feeling metatron archangel metatron archangel sandalphon coming through our lower chakras now helping us to dissolve especially the sacral chakra Th that's our element of water archangel metatron governs our crown and the higher chakras allowing these downloads to come in that are always tailor-made for each one of us archangel metatron is grounding the these energies and as we are being coming into alignment now anything that old emotions that we have not been able to to experience we've kept them suppressed and come in up and that is beautiful it's such a beautiful a beautiful time experience to be able to really feel our emotions to listen to what they are saying and how they're making us feel knowing that we are coming through this time of ascension archangel metatron we're receiving a downpouring of geometric shapes we're receiving an attunement that is going to come into each of our chakras and lift us into higher states of being and to really be able to cleanse now these old 
pains and sorrows. And as we do say goodbye in our head and in our heart to what's happened in the past, something beautiful happens that we have, we have the memory, but we don't have the emotional charge that we project unknowingly out into our environment, into our world. So lots of energy today. Find time to ground in nature. Trust your soul guidance. Our soul will guide us to peace. That's all. It will guide us home. It's our head that guides us all around the houses into all kinds of situations that may think we may think that this is going to be enriching when in in the end it isn't we, we are our head has led us on some kind of merry dance when we're coming into our heart and allowing our heart to guide us allowing our soul to guide us guiding us through this portal it might feel dark at the moment but having that faith and trust before we put our foot down before we take one step we're making sure it's solid it's made we're making sure we feel stable so beautiful energies today getting us ready for this powerful week ahead that there's lots of transits and changes going on that are going to create some tension next week so as we are value it as we are letting that go now as these these things may arise we we move through them easier with with more clarity and and faith so a wonderful day so thank you so much for listening and i'll speak with you tomorrow thank you